Pending Holy Nova. Hey, it's Omnis. This is just a update on my 10 man that I talked about a couple videos ago. Um, we did the heroic version of Cindergosa and then came back the next week and did the achievement for Cindergosa, which were, for a lot of us, the only two achievements that we needed to complete Glory of the Ice Crown Raider, which, as most of you probably know, gives you the blood-bathed uh, Frostbrood Vanquisher, which is the armored Frostworm mount. Uh, what you're seeing here is the heroic version. So when you get the um, effect on the casters where you uh, cast and you build up stacks, you explode for AoE damage. So that's what you have to worry about, especially in the third phase there. And this is the achievement, which is essentially in phase three, no one can get more than five stacks of Mystic Buffet. I think that's what it's called. Which is pretty easy for everyone that isn't a tank. Uh, really, it comes down to the tanks switching. And if that goes well, then it's really not too difficult of an achievement. Of course you have to deal with all the other things like when she pulls you in, running out, everyone has to be sure they can get behind the ice things and then you have to make sure as a healer that you can stay in range and line of sight when you're trying to drop your stacks but it's not too bad. We did wipe a few times. So there you can see both achievements there, Glory of the Ice Crown Raider, and uh, you have to leave the instance in order to get your Frostworm, but we all left, and those of us that had gotten the final achievement got these, which are pretty cool mounts, and really it's not uh, as difficult as as it might seem. I mean, this isn't a new this isn't a new thing. People got this, you know, months ago, but. Um, you know, if you're if you have access to a good ten man, you should definitely consider trying to get these because it's a cool mount and, like I said, not too difficult. You don't have to do Lich King on heroic. Here's the troll of the day. Comes from the official forums in a thread called, "What is the draw of melee DPS?" It's because so many people want to be te epic hero with te swords and te axes. To many, it is far more interesting than playing a superior class such as the Warlock. By the way, if you guys have suggestions for Troll of the Day, and I'm talking to the you know three people that watch these regularly, send me uh, send me the things, and I'll you know I'll look at them and put them up. If you like this video and you want to see when my next one comes out, click subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.